you could sum up your political stance in five words, what would they be? I suppose uh, it, it is to try to create a, a fairer society. Do you think that people aged 16 or even younger should be able to vote in the elections in order to get young people interested in politics? I've sort of been changing my mind about that. If you'd have asked me before the Scottish referendum, I'd have said no. Well, having got interested in university, I came, came back to Manchester, <coughs> and it was natural extension. I got elected onto the city council, and fairly quickly I became leader of the council. And after I'd done that for a long time, it seemed a natural thing to become a member of parliament. Um, considering the recent succession of technology, what jobs would you see in those future group of people? That's impossible to answer. Because um, it keeps changing from like technology, just it, it does keep uh, changing very quickly. If you'd have been pupils of Plant Hill in the 1960s or 70s, um, certain employees, there would have been lots of opportunities to become skilled craftsmen in printing, in engineering. There were, there were lots of factories in East and North Manchester and Trafford Park. You could have got skilled uh, jobs in even in the 60s. There were still some cotton mills which employed a lot of young women. And that's all gone and changed. And things have changed two or three times since then. And I think the best advice to young to get as good a basic education in the hard subjects as you can, maths, English, physics, sciences, uh, so that if things change you have the basic abilities uh, to adapt because things will change uh, and being able to adapt to those changes is easier if you've got the basic academic skills that those harder subjects give you. What was your job before being a politician? As a chemist, I, I did chemistry at the university and um, I ran an analytical chemistry laboratory in the plastics industry. Uh, we analysed competitors' products, so it doesn't sound very exciting, uh, but we would look at the soles of shoes or what they, or what was being made in scape or what would go into the chemicals that made PVC really. PVC is actually a white powder. If you put things called plasticizers in it, 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 it's, um, it gets really wiggly. Um, and I used to analyse what our competitors were doing because we were a small company. We would try and make things a little bit better and a little bit cheaper so that we could sell them. And what is your favourite film and why? The Life of Brian is my favourite film, because it's very funny. Uh, on the surface there's lots of... Uh, have, any, have any of you seen Life of Brian? Go, go <laughs> you should watch it. It's, yeah. it's a very funny film. <coughs> uh, but underneath it, it is also a very serious 
uh, film about politics and religion and how things change. So it's a it's a film that exists at all sorts of. So you can just go and see it, and it's a, it's a funny, slightly knockabout comedy about religion, slash satire on religion. But it's also, it's, uh, it's, there is some very sharp comments about politics and how politics works and how society works and how religion works. So, so I can watch it time and time again. Finishes off with uh, always look on the bright side of life. Watch Get It Out. In whichever way you watch films nowadays, DVDs, downloading them, Netflix, watch it as well. Um, who do you think will struggle most after the next general election? Do you mean which political party? Yes. I think during the general election, I think. Well, let's step back a stage. In, in previous general elections, there has been. like the different parts of the United Kingdom might do, might vote very differently in this election. Scotland, it looks at the moment as though there will be a lot of Scottish Nationalist Party MPs elected. It might change a lot of Labour MPs will lose their seats in this part of the country, although it's like the Labour Party will do quite well, uh, and in London. So it's a very complicated um, it's, a, it's a very complicated story and depending on what happens will depend on how difficult it is after the election. I think it will be difficult for all parties because I don't think one one party will have an overall majority. But I think it will be particularly difficult uh, for the Conservative. Yeah.